auto review of this a Mazda Primacy 2 litre automatic this is the model that ran from 2000 all the way to I think about 2007-8 in the UK uh, this is a 5 seater version and in certain countries they just came as a 7 seater believe it or not so if you have a look at the design it's a happy looking car isn't it uh, nothing to ride home about in terms of excitement this is purely a, an A to B utility family vehicle built for practicality, comfort and ultimate reliability so if we have a look inside the main selling point is the fact that it is hugely practical nice three individual seats this particular car has actually been looked after by one owner from new and you can see she's looked after it very well the good thing about these premises is they generally have owners that look after them lovely little features like a picnic basket a picnic table for the kids and somewhere for the pen to sit so it doesn't fall lovely this one has electric rear windows and this sunroof is quite big for what it is so you get nice light inside and also these windows are nice and low so kids won't get trouble sick and those in a pram sorry, in a car seat will have fantastic views and they won't annoy the parents because they'll get distracted nicely let's have a look at the as you may well know five six got plenty of room here headrooms plentiful loads of foot space excuse my crocs with socks but yeah plenty of foot space there and it's um, a nice compliant these are quite squidgy and compliant seats and the bolsters go out quite a bit actually for what it is um, not as much as I'd like but the softness of the seats makes up for it so it should be plenty comfortable for the kids on a long journey let's get that armrest down and this seat actually folds fully flat that's what that button's there for so helps with uh, if you want to do a DIY trip this is the best combo nice cream uh, sorry gray interior hard to keep clean I suppose but looks the best let's look at the boot it's a huge boot got a bit of my shopping in there but as you can see it's practically cavernous a lot of people use this for the trade you may have seen a spare light there well it was cracked so I replaced it there it is that's why that lights there but this is literally a minivan once you put all the seats down give you a glimpse of the passenger side lovely and now let's go to the driver's side and see what goodies they await for us. So you got all round electric windows, electric mirrors, you got the volume controls here and the usual little stalks that look familiar to you if you are a Toyota owner because they're from the Toyota parts bin and so is this gearbox, superb gearbox and you've got your AC CD player so you got everything you need really in this car um, it's just missing cruise control I think yep it's just missing cruise control otherwise nice and basic and only done 47,000 miles this particular car but everything works and as you can see cheap scratchy plastics everywhere but they're made to last and look at that a 2004 car 17 years old and all the plastics are in excellent shape yes this one's had only done little mileage but nonetheless I've seen a lot of French cars where it's all falling apart at this age so yeah and for some reason you only get armrest for the driver but I'm not complaining okay let's go for a drive it's no sports car but it pulls well and it's supremely comfortable the suspension is set up for comfort and going over these humps you can hardly feel it 
and these seats are really nice and forgiving and compliant very comfortable indeed lovely ride great visibility all around good large mirrors nice light steering not the most direct and numb feeling to be honest but for general pottering about family drives etc it is excellent lovely comfortable car that's the uh, selling point of this so uh, let's see the final review so there we have it nice supremely comfortable car that's great in town and on the motorway for some reason it did not sell that well in the UK it has done in other countries but you don't find many of these for sale in the UK market they don't look much but these things are supremely reliable and a lot of these at this age other cars the automatic gearboxes I'd be a bit hesitant to buy for these ones they're bulletproof and the engine fantastic all it needs is regular servicing and it will like do two three hundred thousand miles easy it's just not much to look at but if you want cheap family runabout with loads of space and uh, for prams etc or if you're one of those in the trade that you're a plumber or you're starting out in the plumbing trade or maybe you're a valeta get yourself one of these if you can find one in the UK that is because they're super cheap like this one 041 owner only 14.99 unbelievable value 47,000 miles barely running full service history new MOT all the tires are brand new it's fantastic value you can't find that anywhere so if you can get one grab one because they last a lifetime only downside to these is that the 2 litre petrol can be a little bit juicy but you can't have it all and it's ULES compliant so yeah highly recommended from me a nice little hidden gem so get one if you can find one people take care and like and subscribe